Hello, Camilla. How are you? Hi, good morning. Good evening. How's your day? Fine, I'm fine. All right, good. It's good to hear. I had a good day. Good day. All right, good. Uh, did you work today? Yes. I work uh, all day. All day. All right. What time do you start? So, um, from 7, 7 a.m., maybe, around 7 a.m. Okay, great, great, very good. And uh, wow, so from seven to four? To no, to six, six p.m. Wow, yeah, that's a very tight <laughs> schedule. A lot of work, I imagine. Hello, Romulo, how are you? Hey, hey, good, thank you. Great, great. that's good to hear. All right. Fine. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get started. So uh, today we will uh, have a little reading on uh, some tips to run a focus group. OK, and uh, we will also look at some examples of focus groups and uh, and uh, and uh, learn from them as well. All right. Good. Good. Let's wait for a for one more minute. Let's wait for your classmates to come. Uh, let's give him a minute. And uh, and yes, All right. Yes. Let's just give him a minute. How was your day today, uh, Romulo? Uh, it was a busy day. <laughs> Right. At a different uh, meeting, but uh, our video conference. Video conferences. Yeah. All right. And yeah, there's uh, uh, answers some email, a, a email, email. Mm -hmm. Yeah, answering emails. Yeah, pretty busy, right? It's, yeah, it's a very busy time, but thank God there there's work. Thank thank God we have a job, right? <laughs> yeah, trust yes. me. Thank God we have it because uh, other people, you know, have uh, are having a lot of trouble finding a job now in these days. Is very yes, yes, it's, it's yes, a problem. A lot of yeah. people lose their work. Yes, they, yes, yeah. I know many of them. People in the food industry. Mm. Uh -huh. in the food industry and in the, in the clothing in clothing stores all the people that worked in the clothing stores they don't have their jobs anymore yeah mm -hmm. it, it's sad but you know, thank god we still have it all right great hello omar how are you can you hear me okay i think probably not okay great so well why not get getting started now so uh, first, let's take a look at a very, very quick at how a focus group works, all right? And uh, let's take, let's check on this one, all right? I have a video from, uh, from TEDx that I want to show you. How, have you heard about uh, TED Talks? Do you know TED Talks? Yes? Yes, me too. Yeah, I heard, I heard it. I heard, yes. I don't know. I don't have... Uh, all right, and uh, what do they do? I had, uh, the people make make video, whatever things. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. 
All right, so it's about people who make videos. Videos about what? No, this is uh, uh, TED Talks invite uh, different people around the world that mm -hmm. um, came and showed, uh, uh, talk about uh, or uh, give a speech. Uh -huh. So different mm -hmm. um, subject, uh, topics, yes. uh, sometimes uh, uh, research or search. Yeah, yeah, research. Yeah, they, they do research. They uh, they work on, on research. They show their results, right? Yeah. So a TED Talk can be about, uh, well, probably about uh, how to make, a, how to give a good speech uh, to to how to take care of your, of your chicken farm or whatever. So experts of different, uh, different fields talk about their success usually people who have succeeded you know who have uh, made it to the top talk people who have made a uh, great great advancements in their in their in their field of work usually are the ones who uh, who give a TED talk all right yeah good like it very good like so, it too, sir. yeah it's it's a lot of fun i, I watch TED talks uh, you know about every any topic i want to know because yeah Yes. Usually, experts with a lot of experience and and a lot of uh, new ideas come. All right, yeah. let's watch this. Please let me know if the audio is working. Why do we buy certain products or choose certain brands? This is the sort of question advertisers have always asked, and there are no easy answers. However, there is a handy tool that helps companies explore this and similar questions, and it's called the focus group. Until the 1940s, market research was often quantitative, using things like sales figures and customer polls to track consumption. But this changed during World War II. Sociologists Robert Merton and Paul Lazarsfeld set out to learn how unprecedented exposure to wartime propaganda was affecting the public. Instead of polling large numbers of people with straightforward questions and quantifiable answers, the researchers conducted in-person interviews, sometimes with small groups, engaging them in more open discussions. Later, this method was picked up by the advertising industry with the help of consultants like Austrian-born psychologist Ernest Dichter, who first coined the term focus group. This new technique was a type of qualitative research, focused on the nature of people's preferences and thoughts. It couldn't tell marketers what percentage of people buy a certain product or brand, but it could tell them more about the people who do, their reasoning for doing so, and even the unconscious motivations behind those reasons. Rather than providing definite conclusions for business and sales, focus groups would be used for exploratory research generating new ideas for products and marketing based on deeper understanding of consumer habits. For example, early focus groups found that contrary to popular opinion at the time, wives often had more influence than their husbands when choosing which car to buy. So Chrysler shifted gears by marketing cars directly to women. And Dr. Dichter himself conducted focus groups for Mattel to learn what girls wanted in a doll. The result was the original Barbie doll. So how does a focus group work? First, companies recruit between six and 10 participants according to specific criteria that meet their research objectives. They could be mothers of children between five and seven, or teenagers planning to buy a new phone in the next three months. This is often done through professional recruiters who manage lists of people who've agreed to participate in focus groups for payment or other rewards. During a session, participants are asked to respond to various prompts from the group moderator, like sharing their opinions on a certain product or their emotional reactions to an advertisement. They may even be asked to do seemingly unrelated tasks, like imagining brands as animals in a zoo. The idea is that this can reveal useful information about the participants' feelings that traditional questions might not get to. Beyond these basics, many variations are possible. A focus group may have two or more moderators, perhaps taking opposite sides on a question. 
or a researcher might be hidden in the focus group, unknown to other participants, to see how their answers can be influenced. And the whole process may also be observed by researchers through a one-way mirror. But although they can provide valuable insight, focus groups do have their limitations, and one of the main ones is that the simple act of observing something can change it. This principle is called observer interference. The answers participants give are likely to be affected by the presence of the researchers, social pressure from the rest of the group, or simply knowing that they're taking part in a focus group. And because researchers often use a small sample size in a specific setting, it's hard to generalize their results. The findings that researchers do reach from focus groups are often tested through experiments and data gathering. Those put numbers on questions like how many potential customers there are and what price they'd be willing to pay. This part of the process changes as technology evolves. But focus groups have remained largely the same for decades. Perhaps when it comes to the big important questions, there's no substitute for people genuinely interacting with each other. Okay, great. So uh, now let me ask you, when did this uh, focus group uh, focus group trend begin? When After the second world war, right? Yeah. World war II. World war two. In the United States. Two. Yeah. Like yeah. Two. Yeah. World war two. We remember we say world war two in the states, right? Okay. So people saw that uh, that you know, uh, war propaganda was very effective, but it was because other people sat down, you know, they sat down with them and, and, and had, a, had a little talk. And that was very helpful for them. All right, good. And also, hey, what new products did focus groups, uh, did focus, were, were, uh, were a result of the first focus groups? Do you remember? What were the the what were some new products that were the result of a focus group? Uh, Barbie doll. The Barbie doll, right? Yeah. Continue, please. Oh, yeah. Well, yes, I remember Barbie doll. <laughs> okay. The cards to cards to woman. What cards to like a woman? Okay. Yeah, that's another fact. Yeah. Hey. Do you girls have a lot of influence on uh, what you what your husband is about to buy? Do you do you have a lot of influence? Be honest, be honest. Or does your husband actually chooses everything? Do you have a lot of influence on that? Well, uh they so actually they actually noticed that women had a lot of influence on 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 uh, what what a, when a man chose a car so they modified their their cars according to women's opinions because they had a lot of influence on it great great so there we see why it is so important right to make a focus group because it changed the direction all right, of, uh, of uh, making new products. Very good, very good. Thanks for your uh, participation, guys. Now, I, have, I just have a few questions for you. Let me ask you um, these ones. Omar, can you read the first question, please? Let me see. Can you see it? How are you? Yeah, I see your screen. Is, okay. okay. Have you ever considered a focus group? Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, continue with the next one, please. Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group? group to respond okay good so these are the two questions all right first if you've uh if you've ever conducted a focus group and second uh second is uh, why it is important to uh, 
to design good questions. Okay, great. So first, let's ask that first. Hey, why do you guys uh, think it is important? Uh, well, let me see, first one. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Have you ever done that outside the class? Outside the class, have you ever done that? Yes. Outside the class. Yes, uh, Romulo? Uh, conducting the, a focus group? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, I, I have. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, you have. Okay. Yes. In the, in the, can you tell us a little bit about your experience, please? Okay. Um, I try to select uh, the people with uh, have a. Uh, uh, the experience about the topic uh, we want to you research right mm -hmm. yes and 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 i have to prepare uh, when i i, I had uh, i prepared the the question uh, or questionnaire before and but uh <clears throat> The problem what we have is, is and the, the focus groups is, uh, I think, uh, is uh, you you need to 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 handle the the time and 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 and, 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 and the number of the participants. Of the oh, right. Hey, that's this a is point. A good tips because when the the, the group is uh, big, uh, it's difficult to to handle or or conducting all right hey I, I like that I like that point you know uh, that that is a very important one in the, the size of the group it, it's it might be yeah. more difficult to handle it I like it like it and uh, were you testing and were you about to test or launch a new product or 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 just a focus group to for uh, the, the, employees, in, in, in this case, uh, no, uh, we have to prepare to, uh, our, uh, a ma manual. Oh, I see. Right, and we need to explore or research a uh, 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 different topic, but uh, not not exactly the uh, a launch. Uh, a product bar, but if had to to make a a, a, a a manual. Okay. Yeah. Great. Great. Like it. Like it. Very good. Nice experience. Thanks for sharing. Anybody okay. else who's ever run a grip a focus group of their own? Anybody? 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 All right. All right. If you haven't, well, that's that's okay. Um, all right now let's see next question and this we will we will discuss it too it goes like this why do you, why do you think it, it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond all right uh, let's ask here uh jose why do you think it's important to create good questions? Hi, can you repeat the... Sure, sure, no problem. So, um, why do you think it is important to design good questions about the, uh, about the product for the participants? Maybe to get the right information of the product. Okay, like it, like it. Yeah, so it's uh, basically to get the right information about the product. I like it, that's a good answer. Anybody else? Uh, let's see. Uh, Alida, why do you think it's important to write good questions? Mm, it's important and easy to understand writing. So 
It's important because. Um, because uh, the participants don't understand, and I we we lose information. Okay, so they're important to get information from participants. Okay, all right. Yeah, now uh, we, we're we going to do this and we are going to interpret and, uh, and uh, share what we understand about these points, okay? Uh, here in our manual in page number 24, in page number 24, we have a we have a short reading about uh, about focus groups, and uh, we are going to read this and give our interpretation about each point. So uh, we are going to work in, in small groups, and uh, you are going to rephrase, or paraphrase what you have read in each point. Okay. So uh, I will also put this, I will also share with this, this with you through our WhatsApp chat. So you can look at it in there and uh, you guys uh, discuss these questions together. All right. So this is gonna be in your group. All right. Do you have any questions about what we're doing in groups? Uh, Omar, what are we gonna do in uh, in small groups? I don't understand. Excuse me, teacher. Could you yeah. repeat again? That's okay. No problem. So we are going to read this article together uh, with a group, and we will rephrase or uh, say what we understand in our own words. Got it now? Yeah, I'm going to catch you. Okay, great. So we read it and then we retell it in our own words. So, for example, I will ask you, uh, what is the introduction or what do we do in the introduction? You tell me, uh, we ask a question or we uh, start with blah, blah, blah. So give me your interpretation for each point. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, read this together with a with a small group take turns reading it and uh, then make short notes about it all right great so we will work in uh, small groups of uh, four people here we go please accept the invitations Jose, did you get it? All right. Aquí está en el chat. Ah, very cool, very cool. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's also in your manual in uh, page uh, 24. Yeah. Okay. Four of your, of your manual. Yeah. 24. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahorita le echado un poquito más de chat. Bye. I read the, the 
the paragraph. Yeah, you read one point and then somebody else reads the other. Ah, uh, very eight. good. Mm -hmm. So you take turns. I, I start. Okay. Yeah, you start. Um, Go ahead. Okay. You can. The introduction. Begin the session with a set question that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We have to say in, in simple words. Something in, about the introduction, I think. Yeah, an introduction to allow the to know about the reference, about the uh, the, the the person or the participant in the group, uh, about your experience, about your life, about etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I I know. Uh -huh. I it's something like um like when we have to. Say uh, when we have the group of participants, so the introduction is like when we say, I am an alien, uh, I work in whatever, and I have experience in, I don't know, and I have two kids or whatever. I understand this is the introduction, right? Yeah, yeah. I think, too, I think it's a introduction like introduce yourself, your hobbies, your. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And to do and to do uh, many many questions about about the, the, the participant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. exactly. It's maybe something is for is for know something more about the participants. Yeah. Okay. It's it's clear the opinion. I think it's uh -huh. it, I think it's very very simple, but yeah. Uh -huh. Great, great. So it, it, it's a time, it's a time also for, you know, like, like you were saying, in which uh, participants uh, get to know each other, right? They get yeah. to know each other, they see what they have in common, like in the video, they put together uh, a group of uh, teenagers, right? So they ask each other, they ask questions about each other, you know, what apps do you use? Hey, are you on? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Instagram? And and uh, do you uh, use TikTok? Yeah. Something like the experience do you practice in the focus group? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. That's the what the introduction is is to warm up, like to feel uh -huh. like uh, to feel more familiar with the people, not like I'm with here with a group of strangers, but you feel with with uh you feel more you feel warmer you feel warmer with this group of people that's what it is about all right good i'll continue checking on the other group all right thank you okay. yeah how we doing here <laughs> um <laughs> yes, Mary? i think it's it's a specific um when you um Think about a focus group that what do you want and I think introduction is um, what um, people um, do you have in this in, in this focus group I think so and then depend if you want to hear no. I, I, I think uh, <laughs> I think uh -huh. the, the introduction is uh, when the, you can break the ice, yeah, a literal introduction. It's like uh, uh, to people uh, get uh, um, trust or confidence, teacher, it was a trust. Uh, confidence. Confidence, yeah, and uh, because uh, uh, it's try to 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 get uh, 
or, or the uh, improve the environment or the the, the relationships uh, uh, exactly it, we use we use a, a, a word in English you know just just for vocabulary for you uh, we build report build report and uh, okay. report is like uh, to to uh, to be warmer warmer with people like uh, for example when you enter to a new house and and uh, the host the, the host or or say the 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 head of the house the father or the mother comes in and talks to you and asks you questions and and he he becomes friendlier so that is building rapport like like uh building a, a friendlier interaction it, it's for example when you call uh for example you call uh Tigo or whatever and the, this person asks you hey how how are you how was your day he's building report he is um mm -hmm. make, making the atmosphere warmer yeah mm -hmm. yeah keep going guys keep going good job mm -hmm. i'll go back to the others stress out is more relaxed to to romper el hielo like Leila said. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. And the first tip, uh, I think the, 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 the question is about to know about the person, but the second tip, I think the, the person uh, um, permite, como se dice permite? Allows, allows. Allow, uh -huh. Allows, 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 uh, uh, to get more information and specific mm -hmm. about the person. Exactly, because it's more specific about uh, the interests of participants. Yeah, what is the, 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 the reason about their participant? What is the, the, the principal idea or the means idea? I don't know. Exactly, or activities or something in special. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. I get. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like that. Okay. Uh, okay. I will read the number two. Okay. Uh, format. When you choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choose questions to provide a structure and direction and open in the question to allow for future exploration and discovery. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions about the tabula? Mm. Okay. 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 Further, further. Oh, further is uh, later. It means later. Okay, beyond. More, mm -hmm. more. Oh, almost. Here it says uh, to further. Yeah, further exploration. You know, for later exploration. Exploration for you to exp explore later. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Right. Thank yep. you. Any other question about the words in here? Mm. In my case, no. No, we. Oh, all right. So we're we're all good. Yeah, continue interpreting uh, what what the what that point is about. So the format, right? The format. Mm -hmm. What kind of questions should it include? Uh, make some multiple choose questions. It's it means like a, um, make a question with A, B, C options. And what's the other type of questions? And open questions? Open-ended, yes, open-ended, right, good, good. Okay. Yeah, those what do you mean, like explanations? Yeah, answers? like information questions, uh, for example, like what, when, where, uh, how, those questions, like, mm -hmm. uh, like what is your favorite thing about, uh, about uh, our new hamburger or what time do you usually do you usually uh, get takeout 
from uh, from McDonald's. Questions that are that give you uh, information, open-ended questions. And okay. we have to include uh, directions too, right? Like for example, exactly. McDonald's Paseo, McDonald's Santa Rosa, or something like that. Yeah, that that can be one. You know, like where where do you get your uh, do you get your takeout, for example? Uh -huh. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, I'll go check on the other guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. So, how are we doing here? You guys finished? No. No, no. not you. <laughs> I'll go check on, on uh, somebody. All right, wait. Wait, Mary, you're here, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I have a problem with the internet. Uh, I see. Yeah, so uh, here yes, you... I'm sorry. You, nah, that's no, you don't have to be sorry. Here you have... You <laughs> but have I, a, I'm here. Yeah, okay, good. Because you have here a double... Uh, Yes, yes, a I, I have a, a try, uh, um, I connect with another with my phone uh, work to uh, uh, see. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Right. that's good. Okay, that's okay. okay. Yeah, you guys <laughs> keep going. Right? Yes, uh, I, 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 I agree with the Camila say that uh, you structure your your questions and then but uh, I think uh, your question uh, to provide uh, uh, the answer that that uh, that uh, we or I looking for because the the you choosing cho choosing the the group uh, intentional mm -hmm. right because uh, you think uh, that, that that group had uh, uh, or you can answer a good a good a good answer for that you need great and uh, what type of questions have to be there in your in your questionnaire there are two kinds of questions what kind of questions are there what kind yes the question the selection or the exploration or discovery no 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 uh, oh, almost i think uh, arabella is getting closer repeat arabella the question the sino uh, yes, or not. yes question or not question. Answer. Uh -huh. And question the complete mm -hmm. and question the selection, the selection multiple. Uh, so uh, I, right, don't, yeah. I don't agree with that, with this, because the focus group, is, the intention of the focus group is get a different opinion for mm -hmm. the function, function. Yeah. And the close question only yes or no. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, maybe get a more opinion. Yeah. About that. Arabella, you have a a, a hat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <Yes. laughs> no, you're backwards. Yeah, you're you're upside down. <laughs> yeah, you were upside down. Ya me dolía la cabeza. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Ah, vuelta mi teléfono y nada. All right, yeah. Yeah, so so that, that is a good point. Multiple choice questions. Multiple More, choice questions mm -hmm. can be there. Like uh for example, um how often do you do you do you, uh, do you get takeout? Uh once a week, twice a week, twice a month, different options and maybe text you know for for another more and more it's more too easy too mm. it's easier right yes and uh -huh. also as uh camila was saying uh open-ended questions mm -hmm. open-ended questions can you give us an example of an open-ended question uh maria uh 
when complete? A or? service, when, when you have a service and then uh, they uh, um, ask you if you have a questionnaire. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, for example, in um, a service with uh, telephone or internet, I think um, is yes or not question or or puntos. Uh, oh, scored. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. All right, but that open-ended question. Uh, and uh, Camilla, what do you think those questions are? You, I think you said something like that. Yeah, maybe uh, one example maybe is uh, why do you like uh, this, for this, this telephone? Or why do you like these services, uh, television services? Because maybe. Yeah, it, that, those are open ended questions. Open ended questions are questions that, have, uh, that give you the chance to give more information, right? Like why, where, mm, how, okay. when, those are questions that helps you exploring more about people. It helps you exploring much more about people, getting to know more about them. No, <laughs> el correo. You keep going, guys. You keep going. I'll check on the other guys. Let's see. Yeah. Great. Are you guys finished already? See, only, no, only the only final one. point. <laughs> the last point. All right, the last point. Uh -huh. The closing. All right. Wow. All right, uh -huh. good. So what do people do in the closing? Closing, closing. That's the participants. For their help and ask, is there anything could be done or improved their experience and member of the focus group? Okay. Ah, it is saying with we we yes, before uh -huh, with, with, with we uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. when you analyze everything points you can have in this specific time you can have the answers or or you can make the better results to the focus group, I think. In one, you have uh, all the information. And things, uh, uh, what things uh, do in, to improve uh, for the future, uh, our product? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh, because say the participants for their help. Mm -hmm. And ask if there anything could be done to improve uh -huh, the experience exactly. Yeah. So, for example, mm -hmm. the focus. Let's imagine we fo uh, we finish the focus group mm -hmm. uh, meeting, and I ask you, how did you feel in this uh, focus group? Uh, was there was there something uh, something uncomfortable? Were mm -hmm. the questions? Uh, were the questions appropriate to you? So, at the end of the focus group, you you ask you ask people's opinions, not about the product anymore, but mm -hmm. about their experience. You know about how they felt in in uh, as part of the group. Yeah, and and it's very important to 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 give a give. Or yeah, final, give, give okay. thanks, yeah. To say thank you. And also, I think what you're trying to say is like, for example, giving them a free sample, right? You're, test, uh, you, you, you're asking questions about, a, a, say, a, a, new, a new French fries for your, for, your, uh, for your restaurant. Okay, they finished. Now, please go ahead and get, get a free sample of a chili French fries. Uh -huh. It's right. like the conclusion, right? Or or the closer. Uh -huh. yeah, the closing of it. Good. Uh -huh. Good. Exactly. Yeah, keep it. Keep yeah, it up, we right. finish. <laughs> okay, we're right. ready to come back. <laughs> all right. I'll go check on the other guys, all right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, 
<laughs> how are you doing guys how are you doing you are you about to finish no i <laughs> <laughs> close oh the other group already finished yes it's all the, only but, finish uh, closing <laughs> closing yeah. oh, all right getting to the closing okay yeah so what's that about Yeah, somebody read it and, and then you give us your interpretation about the closing. Yes, it's at the end of the of the mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. focus groups and the mm -hmm. conducting give the the grateful or the thanks hey. for uh, all Experience. the participants. All right. So con help help <clears throat> help to to investigation or help to develop the the focus groups. Yeah. So you you thank people, right? Yeah. Thank people. Thank you for your participation. And what else do you do after after you thank people? Just say goodbye. Mm, what else do you do when you finish your? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um say thank you uh for participate yeah um what what um or how how do exper experience experience to focus group i ask how how was yeah how, how, how was, was. Yeah, how was your experience in this focus mm -hmm. group? So you ask people, how was your experience in, in this focus group? Uh, were the questions appropriate? Do you, did you ever feel uncomfortable, right? Uh -huh. so you find out okay. if you are using the correct tools in your focus group too. And uh, also you can close it with a, with a free sample. Let's imagine. Let's imagine, guys, you you uh, you just uh, made a focus group about a uh, about uh, a new let's say uh, a new type of cheese, right? A new type of cheese and uh, for or cheese uh, nachos. So you at the end of it, you thank people and give them a free sample. Now you can have a free sample of our new cheese. That's another way to say thank you, okay? So yeah, that's it. Now let's go ahead and 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 uh, and uh, get together with the with everybody and uh, share our opinions over there. All right? Okay. 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 Thank you. Let's get back. All right, great. Thanks for your uh, thanks for your uh, for your participation, guys. Now we are going to uh, check on your answers. So let's discuss the first part. Let's discuss the first part of uh, of this reading. So it goes like this. All right, let me share my screen one more time. All right, good. So to get more honest and uh, productive uh, results from our focus group, it's important to follow these six steps. First step is the introduction. So how do we begin the introduction? Or how do we introduce our group, our group's session? Please, anybody? Anybody? How do we uh, start that focus group session? 
I think I think is meet um, meet uh, the people in the focus group. Uh, for example, present um, name. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, maybe hobbies or uh -huh, yeah. or all right yeah good you have a good point introduce uh introduce yourself and each other yourself. right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yourself and each other all right and uh, get to know each other right yes. get to know other All right introduce yourself and get to know each other that that is uh, that is very helpful All right getting getting to know each other why is it helpful All right people in the other group why is it important to introduce yourself and get to know each other now why do we do the introduction this way you think it's important to know each the people in your group know if they are students, if they are engineers, doctors, or they are using apps or websites or something like that. All right, so it's it's good to like to familiarize. And set up uh, initial questions there about their taste, about their experience, their hobbies, etc. All right, good, good. So if, uh, if people talk this way, they feel more comfortable, right? If we have a nice introduction, a nice warm up, people have a, 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 a better in interaction. Yeah, they have a better interaction there. All right, good. Point number two. What's point number two, please? Um, Alida, what's point number two, please? Um. Is a dynamic question to break to break the ice between oh, the participants. Okay, great. So it's a dynamic and interesting question. All right, good. Here it says a fun starter or activity. I like that. You know, I like that. So um, I think you gave a nice uh, opinion there. Somebody else uh, from the other group. What can be uh, a good starter? Or what is what is this fun starter question or activity about? Please. Teacher, you can. Yes. You can talking about your hobbies or your favorite things to do in your free time, for example, or talking something about uh, something more about you, and we're talking about your hobbies or something like that. The people is is going to to feel very comfortable too. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll be part of the introduction. All right, good. Mm -hmm. How about the, how about a fun starter question? Let's imagine you have to do that, all right? Let's imagine you have to do your, uh, you have to do that. Um, what if uh, you, you start with a funny question? Or you do uh, you do something uh, a fun activity to start the to start the the focus group. What kind of activity can you do in there? For example, some people uh, ask uh, at, at, at the focus group or the each other and uh, mention an, an uh, alphabet letter, right? Oh. And 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 match with uh, animals or or fruit fruits all right yeah for example you are romulo well you're romulo romero already so, <laughs> so we can play uh let's see yeah but i i get your point yeah i get your point that's a good warmer that's a good warm-up any other warm-up that you can probably do for example, the first word you imagine, uh, talk about th this, this work. Okay, yeah, good. Uh, something else that uh, we play, we, we play. Or dynamic. Yeah. A dynamic, maybe. Uh -huh. yeah. Or 
what mm -hmm. kind? What kind of dynamic do you, do you think? I, I don't know. Maybe don't know? Um, dynamic to break the ice. To break the ice. Yeah, to break the ice. In general, that's you, that's what you do in in uh, in the fun starter question or activity. For example, uh, you can also merge these two points the introduction the fun, and the fun starter in all one activity i'll tell you how you start your focus group and uh you tell people to write in a small piece of paper two or three statements about themselves two or three sentences about themselves so uh we're gonna talk about food and you're gonna write two or three statements about your about yourself regarding food so one of them is false and you have people guessing which one is false like for example i write three statements i write uh i like hamburgers i don't like fish and uh, i don't have dinner okay and uh i ask you which one is true okay which one is which one is false sorry so people start like guessing mm -hmm. oh you don't like fish. Oh, that's true or that's false so you do the two things at the same time. People get to know each other and they also have fun guessing, guessing what's true and what's false. So that's a way you can, you, it's two berries out of stone. All right, any other warm up ideas that you guys have? Andrea, welcome. All right, good. Any other ideas you guys have uh, about war uh, warmers? Uh, all right. Uh, Missy, well, other ideas like, like Romulus were very good, like uh, using your initial, mm -hmm. using your initial, right? Uh, that's very nice as well. Also tasting things, you know, like blindfold, blindfold, you understand blindfold? Like when you cover your eyes, like uh, those are very good dynamics too, blindfold dynamics. Like Other dynamic uh, could be uh, sign and, and, and guess. Oh, yeah, good. We, we call that charades. Yeah, charades. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other teacher is uh, the which animal you identified with your personality personal personality. personality yeah matching animals with your personality and you will be that one too right so there you'll be what romulo romulo the tiger for example or whatever <laughs> and every time people uh, call you they have to call you romulo the tiger right right <laughs> yeah so that that's it that's it that's a fun one too very good those the are question, nice. Uh, the question: If you were a product, what what would your slogan be? Oh yeah, that's good. I like it. I like that one too. I'm gonna steal some of your ideas. I like them. I like them very much. All right, very good. Like it, guys. Hey, uh, now we. Now we will. Uh, we are gonna. We're gonna check on the other uh, on the other uh, point, which is format. All right, tell us about format. Let's ask. Uh, let me see somebody who's wasn't participating much uh, now. Uh, Camilla, what about format? What type of questions should we have in our uh, focus group? Okay, there the are format, two types. Yes. The format, I think, maybe is a moment when you. As the question you're planning for focus group and the uh, different format, the director or open end question. Okay, good. Open ended questions, and uh, what was the other? Um, the other is a direct, no, yes or no question? Mm, close, 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 close. You're close, you're close there. Close question. No, 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 we call close the question. <laughs> All right, everybody, anybody else who remembers the other type of questions? Yeah, Camila said a good, a good, a good one, open-ended questions. But what's the other type? 
it's there in the chat. I think I, I, I put it there. Yeah. You can say, teacher, when, where, yeah. for example. Yeah, those are open-ended questions. And what's the other type? We also have, how do you call that type of question that gives you A, B, C, one, two, three? Multiple uh, choice. Multiple, 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 multiple options. Yeah, multiple choice. Yeah, multiple choice. A, B, C, one, two, three. So you ask uh, one of uh, those questions like, uh, for example, how would you rate our new sauce from, uh, from one to 10, for example? Or uh, what time do you usually uh, get takeout for, uh, for lunch, for, I mean, for breakfast, for dinner, for lunch? Three options, so there you have it. Uh, any other uh, examples of these questions, please? Any other examples? Uh, asking yes. for, for true or false and, and your answer? Mm -hmm. Probably true and false. Maybe true. question, uh, selection multiple. Multiple, multiple choice. Multiple. Yeah. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Multiple, multiple choice. Yeah, that's it. Multiple choice questions. So that's a, that's a type of question we ask. Then uh, we also have, what's the other point, please? What's the other point in here? Um, Arabella, what's the next point, number four, please? Can you read it? Arabella, point number four. Can you read it, please? All right, I'll ask somebody else. Jose, what's point number four, please? Breaking a scale. Mm -hmm. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different level of approval. Okay, great, great. Oh, give me a second, guys. I have to run attendance. I, I didn't see what the time was. Let's do it. Give me a second. Just a second, guys. Today is the 20th. All right. Jose Enrique Salazar uh, de la O Salazar, perdón. Present. Okay, thank you. Katia Maria Soriano de Santana, no asiste. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino, tampoco asiste. Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernández, tampoco. Rómulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Presente. Present. Present. Iris Dorotea Sánchez Figueroa Acevedo, no está presente por el momento. Claudia Evelyn Hernández pidió permiso. Eh, María Belén Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. César Vladimir Romero Rugama se retiró del curso. Uh, Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Omar. All right, got you. Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Shane Zoar Demin Cabrera. No está presente. Arabella Parada Gámez. Present teacher. Got you. Thank you. Uh, Mario Enrique Márquez Zelaya. No está. Gloria Beatriz Alegría Orellana. No está presente. Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez. Tampoco está presente. Adolfo Jonathan Rodríguez Parada. No está por el momento. Okay, um, Aleida Juárez, Aleida Elizabeth Juárez de Guevara. Present. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Present. Thank you. Camila Calles Minero. Present. Gotcha. 
Thank you very much. All right, good. Great guys, uh, so we were in point number four, rating scale. Hey, what's a good, what's the most popular rating scale? What's the most popular rating scale you see? Maybe the star rating? Yeah. Sorry about it. Star rating. That is the one. That's the most popular one, right? The star rating is the is the easiest one to to do and everybody understands it, right? So that can be one. Any other type of uh, rating that you can use, guys? Any other type of rating that you can use? Interval scale. Interval scale. Yeah, interval scale. Yeah, that's true. You can use a, an interval from one to five, one to 10, right? Like it. All right. Now, what about the next point, please? Mary, tell us what's the next point, please? Um, specificity. See? Yes. Specific. Specificity. Specific. Specific. Uh, all right. Mm. And uh, what is what is this about? Can you tell us? Uh, when you uh, need more information to uh, ask why and. Uh huh, and 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 you have more answers. I think so. More answers. Okay, so there is something about the word "why," and the word "why" probably is a uh, too vague, right? It might be too vague. Uh, so uh, as you said, specific answers. That's a point. So what questions can give us specific answers, guys? Do you remember W H? Yes or no question, teacher? Mm, mm -hmm. Probably those are too narrow, right? But but it, they can work. They can work, of course. If you have a follow up question too, yeah. But uh, let me ask you: uh, Do you remember W H questions from uh, yes from yes. previous English classes? Yeah. What are those W H questions? Do you remember? What, why, uh, how many, when, what, <laughs> which, All right. when, which, when. how many, where, we, say again, oh, but th those are good examples. So these type of questions can give you more, uh, more, more ideas more ideas for your <clears throat> for your fo uh, for your for your focus group and can give you more results better results than expected great very good finally closing what's that about what's that closing about um let us ask well, probably Andrew wasn't there, but Anna Lillian, what's the closing about? Okay, the closing is when you finish the meeting. Mm -hmm. It's when you have to say the conclusions about the meeting or the focus group. When you say, okay, we're talking about this, this, or this, and the conclusion is like that. And you can and you say okay everybody see you then or, or something like that. It's, it's like a is the is the closest or is conclusion. It, is the conclusion okay? Uh -huh. And uh, is there a, a, spe oh, yeah. a yeah. special yeah. activity we can do in the closing? Uh, oh, you talking about your experience? Mm -hmm. or 
or uh, something special that I can do for for my close. Yeah, talk about your experience in the in the group, right? Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I I got I got you now. Got you now. So mm -hmm. you ask people, how do you feel in this uh -huh. meeting, or how did you? Or what feel? do you think? Uh -huh. Or what do you think about the the the, the... session? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. We're helping. That that's what it is about. We help each other. You got you. So, um, so yeah, I like I like that point, right? You ask people what they feel about the session. Um, can you think of a more creative way to say thank you to your audience, uh, Romulo? Is there a more uh, more creative way to to thank the audience? Repeat, teacher. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, can you think of a, uh, of a different way to thank the audience for their participation? Uh, I think it's uh, the, the, the give the, the gratitude for the, the participants that, that support the, the, the develop the, the, the focus groups or the, or the uh give that thanks uh, about the all there are uh, support that give the the the, the, the development of the, of, of the the focal groups i don't know mm -hmm. all right so you you thank people for their support you say thank you right orally right any other way guys that that you think that we can thank people for participating Any other way, any other ideas to say thank you for participating? Are there any other ideas? Mm -hmm. Maybe saying to, I'm really grateful with the group. I don't know, to use yeah. another word. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking of another way and it, another way can be uh, probably given a little present as a thank you, right? So, uh, for example, you have a, yeah, give him a gift. Yes, a free set. Or pay, or pay. Pay, whoa, I love that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Maybe okay. a snack. A snack, Get yeah. Get a snack. Uh -huh. Get a snack. At yes. the end, at the end of it, right? So there is, uh, there is coffee at the end of the coffee of course, teacher. Coffee yeah, of course. Yeah, coffee. Everybody loves coffee. Coffee <laughs> in a little pastry, right? Well, uh, that would be good at this time. We need more coffee. So a coffee and and a little pastry for the participants, and to say thank you for for their help. Yeah, yeah. That that is that is awesome. That is a great idea. So, uh, guys. Uh, <clears throat> Now, uh, now I want you to please, I want you to please uh, check on some uh, sample questions for your rating scale. All right, use a uh, sample questions. Use a rating scale to measure participants' satisfaction. All right, good. So uh, I want you to think of a uh, different rating scales uh, suggestions. All right, for these, look, these are uh, very, these are very open questions. So here, I want you to give a scale, okay? Or, or give more examples. Like for example here, overall, how satisfied are you with the product? What kind of scale can we, can we add to this question? What kind of scale? Like a one, ten, five star? Very satisfied, not very satisfied, or what kind of quest, uh, What kind of scale do you think we can use in that question? Um, uh, maybe when uh, each question uh, respond with one very satisfied 
very uh, satisfying. Five, satisfying, satisfying. Right. Uh, five, five is no satisfied, satisfies. Good. So one to five scale, right? One to five. Yeah, the one to five scale. All right. Good. Uh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one to five scale. Ah, okay. Yes. One to one to five five a scale. Uh -huh. One to five scale. Yeah, a lady one has a nominal scale. Yeah, that can work too. What What do you mean by a nominal scale? So you can uh, so everybody understands what it is, Aleida. Please. Yeah. Ah, okay. interval. Interval scale. Yeah, that's an interval like mine from one to five. And uh, you you just said uh, a a nominal scale. Uh, can anybody think of what that is, please? When the the response is is no number. Right, it's not a number, right? The response is not a number. So, like, uh, like Arabella was saying, like, uh, very satisfied, uh, satisfied, not satisfied, and uh, probably uncomfortable, right? nominal skill all right good great so here here uh here guys uh we have uh we have a, a a little task and we yes we are gonna do it we're gonna do this little task so we have to design what is this task about we'll modify it a little bit because first not everybody's in here second Probably we do not remember what we did in unit one. So uh, we'll do a little, some little adjustments. But let's read, let's read uh, these uh, suggestions. I mean, these uh, instructions. So um, Jose, can you read the instructions for, uh, for this activity, please? They're highlighted. Okay. Work, work. Design a uh, 10, 12 questions questionnaire to find out how participants of a group focus group perceive the product you have suggested in unit one. Remember to start with question to make the participants interact with each other and reduce their anxiety. Mm -hmm. anxiety. Then ask questions about the specific characteristic of the product okay good good so uh well as i was telling you we are going to we're going to adjust this task to to our class because our class is you know is a little different first we don't remember what we did in unit one sadly and second uh it's not the same people you know we we don't have the same people you know there, there there are many people who are not here now so first um i would say you know think of a product and blah 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 but i guess um you can choose one of a one of two industries you can think about the food industry like for example uh uh a focus group or a questionnaire about uh, about food in about about food, like a new pro a new food product that you created, and or um, in the uh, focus group about uh, say uh, say for example a new item, probably a lamp, or or a new shirt or whatever you you name it. So you decide what type of questionnaire you want you want to do. It's up to you. It's up to you. So you decide what your questionnaire is going to be about. It can be about food, it can be about drinks, or uh, it can be about uh, about uh, delivery service or a driver service. 
So think about that questionnaire and you design, think about that and uh, you design a short questionnaire. And, uh, and you also have to think about a little warmer, okay? Like the, we were saying, the, the warm up suggest, the warm up suggestions we, we talked about, okay? So let's do a little, our, our little plan first, remember? product and uh, also the the warmer the warm-up the the ice breaker right that's it ice breaker and your questions right one more time product quest uh product ice breaker and warm up in the in questions so that's it those three things are the ones you have to think about all right, remember your questions should also have a scale. All right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and, and, and work in, in, uh, in small groups and do that, All right? So don't forget those three things. What is the last the thing? Uh, all right, number one is uh, the product, right? Product, it, it can be whatever. It can be a nail polisher. It can be a... Uh, uh, a food, you know, something about food, phone cases or whatever, all right? And uh, second is the icebreaker. What type of, uh, of icebreaker are you going to use to make people socialize and feel warmer and more familiar with, the, with each other? And third, your questions. Questions with a rating scale very satisfied not satisfied one to five five stars whatever right right it doesn't have to be 10 to 12 uh, to 12 questions because of time but uh, do as many as you can all right no less than five no less than five that definitely all right good sections small groups uh, we will redo them we'll work with different people Yeah, it looks good. All right. Please accept the invitations. Andrea, did you get the invitation? Andrea? Quantify and qualify to say, right? Do you have any, any ideas for, for the product? Uh -huh. So we have to look in a product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what do you want? Uh, something drink? Something to drink? Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> Yes, I like all the time. I need a coffee. <laughs> yes. All right. A coffee. A coffee is a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I have a caffeine. All right. Yeah. Good. I agree. All right. Great. <laughs> all right. So you, your product will be coffee then, right? Uh -huh. Right. All right. right. Good. And uh, then uh, you have to think of a warm up. A warm up. What kind of uh, icebreaker or warm up are you going to use? Mm -hmm. Maybe um, give a tasting to to coffee, or mm -hmm, no, I don't know. 
I think that's in Spain because, in, for example, in Price Mart or Walmart, Selectos or whatever supermarket, in, in a supermarket, the people has a um, tester, but it, or like a sample of coffee. Okay, like different like, samples of coffee. That would be your warm up. Mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, you can do the blindfolded, right? The blindfolded for for the the blindfolding uh, warm up. That's that's a lot of fun. Like, what do you taste? Uh, I mean, how's the taste of this? And people just taste it: sweet, sour, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that can be all right. Um, good. Maybe with. Maybe the flowers sometimes is, for example, the cafe Juan Valdez has a vanilla chocolate. I all oh, the I, smells, right? I, smells, mm -hmm. mint, I think, mint soup, chocolate with mint. A, 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 a cinnamon too. So there are too many, too many options in flowers. In one yeah, so flavors are right? flavors. Uh -huh. right. So yeah, keep keep thinking about it. All right, good. Thank you. The, Ca Camila said uh, the repeat. Camila, what 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 is the, your dynamic for the uh, for people? Uh, uh, people say the seafood. The number the seafood. What is, is uh, what identifica identificator? Okay. Because uh, we are talking about the mariscada. It's yeah. our product. Wow. Yeah. Seafood chowder. So you will, people, you said people I, I uh, associate themselves uh -huh. to, uh, to a seafood mm -hmm. or to a... Or anything in the sea, to see. Anything in the sea. Okay. So, Andrea, what, what's Andrea going to be? Hey, that's fine. So, Andrea, the, <laughs> Andrea, the, I don't know. <laughs> Andrea, the seagull or Andrea. Yeah, that, that's fun. I like the idea. I like the idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, you say people associate, people associate themselves to. All right, to uh, to something from the sea. All right, from the sea. All right, I like it. I like your idea. Yeah, very good. Very good. Let's keep going and thinking about the. Yes. Yeah. What was it? Not nothing. Okay, great. Nothing. All right. Yeah, I'll go check uh, on the other. Uh, end. Do you remember the the the, the song uh, uh, the sopa de caracol? Ah, we can we can yeah. make a, a a circle and put uh, the music and and try to, to people yeah. dance. Uh, that's that's try a strategy. Okay. That's a lot us. of fun. That yeah. that's it. People will feel cool after doing that. You know, after sopa dance. de caracol. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Their cumbia, right? Yeah, the yes, uh, the what a very the, good soup. Yeah, like it. Yeah, great. From Hon Hon Honduras. <laughs> oh, is it? So it's from Honduras, then. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Yes. The uh -huh. Atlantic coast of Honduras. Oh, I see. Yeah, and there are a lot of black people in 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 the in the Atlant mm -hmm. in the Atlantic coast mm -hmm. of Honduras too. Mm -hmm. Like it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, keep going, guys. I'll check on the Okay, other. we have two, two, two dynamic. Huh? Two dynamic, yeah. Woo. That's, that's great. See, you're, okay. a, you're a good group. You work very well together. Es que eso quiero ver porque es que me siento a little bit lost, un poco perdida con eso. Don't you worry. No, the, the third point, the third point, we have to make the 10 questions, right, teacher? Uh -huh. yeah. oh, as many but as you can. But the question, 
but then question about the coffee, for example. Yeah, about the coffee. Or uh, about the coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ask questions about your uh, product, about how people feel with your product, like... Um, what, what you... Uh, for ex example. Experience, exper ex experience. 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 Uh -huh. For example, I can say... Uh, do, do you, did you like, like the it? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. do you feel good or do you oh, something like that make a question about the coffee about the product yeah or or, or like uh, for example what time do you usually have a coffee or uh, where is it better to have a coffee in your opinion and uh, what's the what's oh. your favorite part of a coffee the smell or, the, or the do you drink or coffee? do you like hot or cold something like that yeah what types of coffee do you like all right uh -huh. great so let please start taking notes some word mm -hmm. so you can oh. so you can keep track keep the record of your ideas that that by the way are very good okay mm -hmm. so let's keep track of it Mm -hmm. Or we can say, at what time do you like to drink a coffee? Mm -hmm. I think um, the first, the first question: uh, Do you do you drink coffee? Yeah, because some people just doesn't drink. It's fine. I think so. Or normally, um, people drink coffee um, to ask, <laughs> to, to ask, yes, the, when you, well, for me, when I, I see a person um, give a coffee, I ask what type of coffee or where, where is the coffee, um, Oh, and then, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, what type of co of coffee do you prefer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This this is yes. a good one. Mm -hmm. Or maybe another one will be, what types of flavor do you like with your coffee? Uh huh. Like okay. Nice and Green. strawberry. I don't know. Yeah, good, good. So take notes, take notes. You, you have awesome ideas. So take notes of them, please. How are you, Shane? Let's see if he joined the, the group. Oh yeah, he did. What mm -hmm. type of coffee? Uh, what type of coffee do you like? Do you like your coffee cold or hot? I have mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh huh. I like to say, do you drink coffee? It's fine too. Great. Do you? Do you Maybe like the first? <laughs> Or do you like a milk with the coffee or coffee with milk? I don't know. Do you drink uh -huh, it? Exactly. It's, it's ah. a good question. Do you yeah. like milk with your coffee? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Good. good. Or you know why some people uh, drink coffee and doesn't like make a put a, a sugar. Some uh -huh. people say black coffee. Do yeah. you like me. my coffee, for example? Me, me. Me too. Really? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm one of those. I'm one of those. <laughs> I, I like my beauty. <laughs> Do you like a black coffee? Yeah, I, uh -huh. I drink yeah. black too. Uh -huh. Oh, how many times do you drink coffee on the day? Yes, yes, uh-huh. Perfect. You can, and you can make a skill. One, 
two to three. You know, you can put like like multiple choice in there. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, the customer just choice one, right? Chooses one, yeah. Uh -huh. hey, take uh -huh. note, Anna Lilian. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> Please, because we're running, we're running, yeah. yeah. They are awesome ideas. I uh -huh. love them all. <laughs> It's a coffee. I love it. You like it? Yes. That's why. Yes. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's probably why we're you're very fluent. And you know, I like whatever coffee in too many options. Cold, hot, mixed. With ice, is a very good. Ice dessert. coffee. Uh huh. Ice like coffee. A, yeah. like I don't like it. Ice. You don't like, like ice? No. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I like mm, iced. I like uh, uh, frappuccinos. I do like frappuccinos. Oh, yes, yes, but more sugar. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, with, <laughs> without sugar. Yeah. Yes. Just, uh, the caramel or chocolate. Or yes. The cream. <laughs> that's it, but no sugar. It's too, it's too sweet. It's, it's yeah. friendly. It's friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, but it's... It is, uh -huh. How but many I questions like it too. do you have? <laughs> How many questions do you have so far? <laughs> I have, we have like seven, ten already. seven in my notebooks, but too seven. much in my head. In my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Hey, no, question: What for your warmer? What are you gonna do for your icebreaker? I did sure in this part. I'm a little confused. Uh, for the icebreaker. But we, we, we select the blind test. The blindfold. Uh-huh, the blind test. Yeah, the blindfold test. Uh-huh. So what are you going to have people uh, tasting, uh, I mean, testing? Smell or uh, the, the taste, like they drink it? Taste. Taste. Uh -huh. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, I think as the coffee is taste, mm -hmm. well, in a smell too. Okay. Yeah, it's a little confused because it's the yeah. mm, But think, uh, um, some, sometimes yeah. smell, only a smell and the flavor is different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you know... Uh, you, what is the more appropriate teacher? Appropriate? Uh, I think you it's can... Called, you can play with with both and uh -huh. uh, probably uh smell will be good like uh you're gonna have uh, people smelling a coffee and they guess mm -hmm. what kind of coffee it is and to the one that guesses you give a prize for example mm -hmm. or yes. you can have people uh, testing it and they have to say mm, this is uh this is uh, a mocha uh -huh, exactly. Uh, in number exactly. two is a uh, is a cappuccino. Is a, is a cappuccino. In number uh -huh. three, is a latte. A latte. Mm -hmm. Or an American coffee. An americano. Or, yeah, yes. Uh -huh. Or an espresso. Or like Colombia. Yeah. Only espresso. Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they drink, uh -huh. they drink it's too more specific. <laughs> yeah. They, they also drink something called uh, the, the the small one. How, how do you call it? Cortadito. Ay, ah. Boy, that, <laughs> that blows your mind, man. That really yeah, it's, mind. it's delicious. But you don't Richard, sleep. Excuse me, I have to go to make me a coffee and I'm yeah. coming back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go get a coffee for yourself. Yeah, you know, that, 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 that cortadito boosts, boosts up your energy so much. Like, I once had a cortadito and uh, and I didn't sleep the whole night. Uh huh, it's too much coffee. Yeah, it's too so strong. A la look, a lady is taking notes in there. How many cups of coffee do you drink? <laughs> mm, I think I'm like a four on a day. Four. That's yes, but but I know my coffee is like a, I don't I don't know what this what's the meaning of the end. I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh -huh, because I don't like like American or Express. No, not too much. Yeah. Uh, all right. I, I'm good with an Americano. That's my favorite. 
Uh-huh. Sometimes and I love, it's good. Yeah. And uh, I love latte with no sugar. Latte is my is probably my favorite is latte with no mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. Mm -hmm. Great. I'll go check on the other guys. I think you're done with the questions and scales, all right? Make sure you have a scales for each question. But I guess you have a warmer. I mean, you have a product, very clear, I think. You know, it's, is it just coffee or a special flavor of coffee? Just no, coffee. Just the coffee. Just the coffee. Mm -hmm. just uh -huh. coffee. Okay. Yes. It's, it's just coffee. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. And... Um, Uh, you also have a warmer, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 an icebreaker, which is the, the smell, I mean, the, which one are you going to do, smell or taste? Both. Both? Okay, all right. Both smell and taste uh, test. Okay, so blindfold test. So people taste a coffee and say what coffee it is, right? And uh, finally, your questions. It sounds good. It sounds great. All right, guys. I'll go ahead and check on the other on the other group. I think they they are about to finish as well. Okay. How are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you guys finished already. Yeah. Wow! Look at that. That was very fast. So, uh, uh, what's your icebreaker gonna be? Okay, Camila. Hi, sorry. Do you want to explain? Yeah, okay. Uh, the, um, to break to ice, we will ask the participant to associate it with something to see. All right. Um, and to um, maybe to dance in Sopa de Caracol too. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. All right, good. That's a lot of fun. So they dance Sopa de Caracol. Yeah. All right, good. How many questions do you have? Uh, three questions. Three questions. All right. The, the first one is, uh, how do you qualify, qualify the sopa or the, 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 the mariscada? All right. But uh, we had a, a, a scale. Okay, that's great. One, one two, three is bad. If you decolificate it three to five, you're regular. Mm -hmm. Five to seven, good. It's seven to ten, delicious. And seven to ten, delicious. Like it. All right. And any other? And what, what's what is that? your favorite ingredient? Your favorite ingredient. Okay. Ingredient. In and in what? kind of ingredients don't like it you don't like all right great you don't like uh -huh. mm -hmm. so uh i guess uh your your product we call it uh seafood chowder in english seafood chowder mariscada that's the so, name uh, chowder. Seafood, yes. chowder. Mm -hmm. seafood chowder yes So you keep keep that in mind. So your new seafood chowder, I like, I like your idea. It is very good because I'm a fan of seafood. I love seafood. It's so delicious. And I like seafood chowder. It's my favorite soup. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. Great. Uh, we're gonna go back uh, to the main uh, to the main session. Okay. All right, is everybody back? Yeah, it looks like everybody is getting back and up and running, great. Very good.
All right, great. So now what we are going to do is this. Uh, each group is going to start sharing everything you did, right? But let me run attendance one more time for the ones who were not here. Okay. Oh, uh, again, running attendance. Uh, Katia Maria Soriano de Santana no está presente y no asiste. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino tampoco asiste. Ana Grisela Iglesias uh, Hernández tampoco asiste. Bien. Eh, Iris Dorotea Acevedo no está presente. Claudia Evelyn Hernández tampoco pidió permiso. César Vladimir Romero Rugamas no asiste. Uh, Shane Zohar Deming Cabrera. Shane, please yes, stay present. Got you. Okay, you're yes, registered. Thank you. Mario Enrique Marquez Zelaya, no está presente. Gloria Beatriz Orellana, no asistí últimamente. Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez, tampoco. Adolfo Jonathan Parada, no está presente. Okay, muy bien. Uh, so, you guys, now what we are going to do is uh, sharing our points. All right. Good, so group number one is gonna start. So uh, group number one is uh, Andrea, Camila, Omar, and Romulo. So first, uh, tell us what your product is, and uh, second, what your, war, uh, what your icebreaker ideas are, and uh, finally, you read your questions and, and skills. Go ahead, please. Okay, I'll talk about our product. Uh, our product is in design will be seafood shoulder. Mm. This, this style of dish occurs a lot in the coast of our country. Um, many foreigners will be our biggest uh, clients or customers to whom we'll, we will request their participants with the following activities. And we can take a relationship with the for a music or with the music. And uh, Romulo talk about more about our uh, uh, Ice our <laughs> seafood chowder seafood chowder. Yeah, yeah. What seafood chowder? So everybody knows. Uh, uh, Omar. Mariscada. In All right. Spanish. Yeah. In English, we call it seafood chowder. All right. So Romulo, what is the warm-up idea? Okay, I I I talk right. about the fish. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Okay. To break the ice, we will ask the participants uh, to associate it with uh, something to the sea, mm -hmm. and and all people to dance sopa de caracol too. All right. So how do you or, like that? How do you like that, guys? Do you think it's fun? People from the other group, do you think that that activity is fun? Dancing sopa de caracol to warm up, to, you know, to break the ice? Mm -hmm. I do. I think I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah, continue. Now, uh, I think your questions, please go ahead. We want to hear your questions. Yes, thank you. Uh, we have to... Three questions. The, the first is, uh, how do you qualify this sea shoulder? Mm -hmm. And we, we elaborate a, a scale, one to 10. And then the first uh, rank is the, the or, or one, the, you qualify one to three, is a bad, mm -hmm. the qualification. And three to five, regular regular mm -hmm. and five to seven good if uh, you ask where is a uh, ten to no seven to ten delicious all right yeah all right continue with your questions please what is your favorite ingredient mm -hmm. what kind of ingredients you do like Okay, those are the two questions, the three. Those are, those are okay, all right? Man, maybe you can ask, uh, how do you like your, your seafood chowder with cream or natural, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. 
Like it. No, that's that's Thank pretty you. good. Say it does good. the job. Perfect. Claps, claps, claps. All right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Reaction. A clap for that. And uh, yeah, guys. And uh, what's the? Let's hear the other group. All right. That will be group number two. Aleda. Aleda's group. So go ahead and tell us about your product. Tell us about uh, your warm up idea, and uh, you read your questions and skills. All right, go ahead, please. Our product is coffee. All right. And we use uh, first blind test and second monadic test. Mm hmm and uh yeah all right in general that's it and uh, what is the war uh what is the icebreaker idea for uh for your for your focus group um you can um tasting with another people for example in a supermarket um you can taste in uh uh, flavor the coffee and maybe another option um, to smell of coffee. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, ice breaking. The ice breaker. So in the ice breaker, let me see if I'm getting this right. In the ice breaker, people are blindfolded. You said right. People are blindfolded, yes. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, what do they do then? They're blindfolded. And what's next? You can you can um, taste in. Taste. You can taste the coffee. Taste. Right? Taste the coffee. Yes. All right. My, I taste the coffee. Our coffee. Our coffee and another coffee. And another coffee. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Good. And you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, what do people do then? They say, and then, and mm -hmm. then, um, uh, uh, the question. All right. All right. Good. All right. Let's read your questions then, please. Uh, what are your questions? Okay, teacher. I have the questions. For Go example, ahead, the first, do you like the coffee? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't like, you can make me. <laughs> the, uh -huh. You can make me help. Okay. Uh, what type of coffee do you like? Or what type of flavors do you prefer? Or you can say, um, do you like your coffee hot or cold? Do you like a frozen coffee? Uh, do you like, uh, for example, an American coffee or with sugar? Mm. Or you can say, um, do you like coffee with the milk or just the coffee? Uh, this is something, uh, this is the most, the most question I have, teacher, or something like, uh, do you, oh, how many times, or how many times do you drink coffee in your day, for example? All right, how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? Exactly, how many cups of coffee? Mm -hmm. Two, one yes, for sir. breakfast and one in the afternoon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like it. You know, the uh, the idea I like uh, I like the the test idea and the uh, what uh, the blindfold test idea and probably we can enhance it. We can enhance it and ask uh, people to to say guess. Do you understand guess? Do you understand yeah. guess? Yeah, you can ask people to guess what kind of coffee they tested, right? Oh, is it an Americano? Is it a cappuccino? Is it a, a, a latte? Mm -hmm. A cortadito or whatever, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, the warm-up idea was it was nice too and, and the questions as well. Also, remember, it's important to use a scale, all right? It's important to use a scale when uh, when when uh, answering questions because uh, people have to associate uh, that you know in levels. They they this yeah. they work in that in levels. 
I like uh, your your idea as well. You know, that was that was very nice too. Um, let's just uh, give feedback on your on your speaking in general. We can use to great great things. We use uh, the word qualify, right? Qualify. For example, how do you qualify? Uh, how do you qualify my service? Is it very good? Is it regular or it's not satisfactory so mm -hmm. that's that's how that's the question how do you qualify our service all right okay. uh also taste okay taste mm -hmm. taste you taste it, all right a, a coffee you taste and uh also let me see Another one, another one in here. Um, we use the word blindfold, okay, blindfold, which means with your eyes covered, all right? Probably with a little, a uh, little, uh, a little piece of cloth, you cover your eyes and you do your test, all right? Blindfold test. Great, great. So those are, those are great ideas that you can implement for a focus group, all right? And, uh, and very interesting ideas, by the way. So I guess, yeah, everybody deserves a clap for the job you have done so far. Yeah, so you do deserve it. Well done. Send my reactions, virtual hugs. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, well done, guys. So how, how are you doing with your, uh, with your homework and, and, and so on? Uh, are you advancing on it? Yes, Yes, you are. Fans yes. and more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like that's in the platform. <laughs> yeah, remember. No. Do you haven't done much? Yeah, remember to go into the platform, answer those questions, and uh, if there is a problem about uh, about text recognition, like for example, you type the correct answer, but it still marks it wrong, please please let me know because I report it. Or if you're okay. having trouble with a question, please let me know because I can assist you. And if my assistant doesn't work, my assistance doesn't work, I report the problem with the question. Sometimes it's just text recognition. Probably you noticed an extra space, a capital letter, uh, uh, a tilde instead of an apostrophe little things but they matter because it's it's an it's an automated system so it, they matter little things matter too uh so you be careful with that all right now uh, we have our midterm too midterm probably is a little longer so uh, don't forget to study use your 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 student's manual check your your student's manual uh often please that's important to read it. Uh, it has links as well. I use some of those links in my class. Probably there are videos. You can watch them too. They are very helpful. Okay, guys. Tomorrow we'll we'll go over the we'll go over the midterm, and we'll review everything. Mainly we will review the what's his name, the the addition words the sequence words in addition furthermore and blah 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 we'll practice that with text and, and other things okay take care of yourselves you have a good night and uh, i'll see you all tomorrow all right hey see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. thank you bye. bye see you tomorrow
Thank you. 